Hey makers this is Druveen and in this episode let's talk about how you can write your measures in your natural language measures it's a very critical part of any power bi report now you can write small small measures in a natural language so let's see how it works this is the new feature that has been rolled out after microsoft ignite so make sure that you have updated your power bi desktop with the latest version of october 2022 After updating your Power BI desktop, make sure you go to the file menu, go to the options and setting and click on options. From here, you need to select the preview feature and make sure that this feature which is quick measure suggestion is enabled. If not, turn it on and restart your Power BI desktop. Now, I already enabled this feature. So now let's try to explore this feature in detail. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content of Power Platform. So without further delay, let's get started. In order to start with quick measure suggestions, we need to simply click on the quick measure from the home menu. Once you click on that, you can see two sections over here. We need to simply click on the suggestions section. Now over here it is clearly saying that use the natural language to describe the measure you need. Now over here you can ask the question about your data in a natural language. Let's say for an example here I have some store data where I have different type of score like innovation score accountability score care score coach score self assessment score and manager assessment score. Now let's say for an example I want to do the summation of couple of columns then what I can do is I can simply write that thing into my natural language let's say for an example I need the summation of innovation rating plus accountability rating plus care rating I can simply type that so whenever you start typing it is basically showing you the suggestions over here so let's say first I need innovation rating plus i need accountability rating so i just need to search for that thing accountability rating and care rating so i simply type here innovation rating plus accountability rating plus care rating and simply click on generate button and when you do that it started suggesting you the measure So over here you can see the measure has been populated over here so with the ai it created the entire measure for me if you feel comfortable with this measure just click on add so what happen here is it will start adding that particular measure into your formula bar like this you can just provide the name of your measures over here like let's say total sum and just click on tick option to add this measure so that's it it just added this measure now let's talk about second use case i just want to find out the records where status is completed so i can simply type in the natural language that total record where status is equal to completed and click on generate option so it start generating the measure and it is showing you the result along with overall stuff over here to you and now let's say uh let's just apply this thing and i am just clicking on add button so the measure has been applied successfully so i can just provide completed status and let's say for an example if you feel that you know there is some mistake in my measure then you can simply change it like over here i have completed as capital c so i can simply add that and just correct my measure right so this is second use case let's say for an example if you just wanted to use some sort of mathematical expression now let's say for an example i want to use like average of care rating simply i am typing here average of care rating and click on generate so what happen here is it is generating a formula for me that's cool Now let's say I want to apply some sort of if condition that if coach rating is three, then return very good. Else return bad. So you can also, you know, ask the same thing in the natural language that if coach rating is equal to three, return very good. Else bad. 
and let's generate it and you can see that it has beautifully created the dex measure for me and this is really amazing now let's say it also supports some general question like let's say you want to find out today's date then you can simply ask a question like today's date so simply ask the question over here like today's date and it will generate the formula for you like this is today's date now let's say you need current user's email address so we can simply ask a question over here that return current user's email and click on generate and it just returned me this value so this is really amazing so it supports different type of aggregated columns count of rows aggregated per category mathematical operation selected value if condition text operation time intelligence function uh, relative time filtered value most or least common values top and filtered value top and values with category information functions and much more isn't that cool have you explored this feature for your power bi report if not just use this feature right away this feature is still in the experimental mode so make sure that whenever it is generally available there is a chance that design and functionality might be changed currently this feature is powered by machine learning model that is currently only deployed to us data centers if your data is outside of us the feature will be disabled by default unless your tenant admin enable allow user data to leave their geographic tenant setting from the admin center of power bi so make sure about that hope this video helps you and values your time if so make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel are you looking for any training or any consultation the website link is available here check the latest training and if you want to hire me for any consultation work just fill out the form over there also here i have uploaded many videos on different power platform content so make sure that you visit and subscribe my channel to never miss any updates from me if you wanted to follow me on my twitter instagram linkedin and other social media handle all the links are available on the top right corner of the my channel cover page make sure that you click on the link so you will never miss any updates from me with this this is dhruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye